Okay, before my meeting with Jess, I decided I'd better go ahead and log into your server using NextCloud, my own NextCloud desktop, to see if everything goes smoothly. So we're going to open it up and we're going to choose Log In to Your NextCloud. And we're going to put in your server's address, which is cloud.friendsofsanjuans.com. And just hit Next. We're not going to choose any of these things in the middle. They're unrelated. Hit Next. And that should do just this. It logs, it, it looks at your server and asks for access. I'll put in my own credentials. This will be your company password and log in. Okay, and so with that approved, it leaves us with these defaults. Uh, it's going to sync. In this case, it says NextCloud 2 because I've already got a NextCloud for my server. That's fine. We'll hit Connect. And at this point, it should have created a NextCloud 2 folder on my computer. And I see it right here. So we have, and there's my account, and that shows a few of the things that I have on the actual server. So it did connect as I had expected. So I'm um, not sure what went wrong in Katie's case, but if she's using an Apple, it could be specific to that. And we'll track that down. I'll test an Apple next. <clears throat> okay, in this video, we're going to download the Mac operating system. <clears throat> And we'll open that download. Continue. Install. Authorize. Okay, we're going to give the star access to Finder. That's fine. And we get a green light. find that NextCloud install, which will be here in the launch pad, right there, NextCloud. The interface opens up. We have something here about notifications. We want to allow that. Here, of the three options, we want to choose Log In to Your NextCloud. And then simply type in exactly what you see here. Then click Next. Better. And now it should bring up a page from your server and where we need to grant access. I'll type in my credentials. And this is on a computer that has never seen NextCloud before. It's a brand new Apple installation. I'll choose Login. I'll choose the defaults, and it's going to put this in Users J NextCloud. That's going to be my NextCloud folder. I'll choose Connect. And you can see it's already syncing some things with that NextCloud folder. Let's take a look at that. We'll open up Finder down here in the lower left corner. Okay, you notice we have now a NextCloud folder that didn't used to be there. And these are the folders that actually live on your server. So from this point forward, anything I would have put in this folder would automatically be synchronized with the server and vice versa. This has nothing to do with desktop documents downloads. If you want it to sync with the server, you need to deposit it somewhere in your next cloud hierarchy. These documents are not these documents. These, these documents, photos and things are folders that live on the server. You can create new folders. Um, 
Okay, and, and by creating a new folder, you see the synchronize icon come on. And now this has already been synced to the server. If you want documents to be synced uh, that are in here to go on to Nextcloud, you would select them. I don't have any because this is a brand new installation. And then to move them from your traditional documents folder to this new documents environment. But that's it. Everything did work out perfectly. And just to verify that, let's have a look at your actual server. Okay, so now I am in Safari looking at your server, cloud.friendsofsanjuans.com. I'll put in my credentials. And you'll notice that in this website, we have a folder called example, uh, which I just went ahead and created. So that's it. Everything works fine in the Apple environment. Test it on your end, and uh, I'll be here to catch you if you have any questions. Bye-bye.